Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Sim World. And just recently, they have added two new species to all, well, not all the maps, but some of the maps, Lake Boulder being one of them. And we're going to check this out real quick here, guys. I did manage to catch a tiger muskie at a good fishing spot for Northern Pike. So we are going to go down there and see if we can't scare up another one. Now, the longnose gar is a fish that I used to catch mostly by accident because <laughs> you would be fishing for something else and they would take your bait. That's why they're called bait stealers. But we are going to sit here and try to focus on the muskie and tiger muskie if we can here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the boat. But I have a pretty good spot that I found over here. Alright guys, we are coming up on it here. This spot here has been, I don't know if you can see on the map, but there's all kinds of little islands here. It seems like there's a whole lot of musky. Not, not only musky, but pike, bass, a little bit of everything. Probably one of my favorite spots on this particular lake. But what I like to do is I like to come in this little inlet right here and kind of park myself right in between these lily pads and these lily pads. About as much as I can. Alright, let's get out. Alright, as you can see, we got lily pads to the right of us and lily pads to the left of us and reeds over there and reeds over there and that my friends, as the musky territories, the northern pike territories, the largemouth bass, a little bit of everything. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and I think we're going to try our first rod here. I'm trying to remember what we have on here. I did, was using that shockwave bombshell. I actually did pretty good with that. The, um, this jerkalistic swim bait is really good. Now that's in the hunter uh, pack that you can get that from. Uh, since some of you might not have that, we might need to go ahead and switch over to something that you might have available to you. So we're going to use one of the rattle traps here, I think. Let's go ahead and grab this 3 inch. Now you will probably get bass, <laughs> and that's par for the course. I mean, there are bass everywhere around here. And that's perfectly fine with me. But I kind of would like to get a muskie just so we could see one. I'll have to, if I don't catch one, I will make sure that I put a picture of one that I caught. I've caught a tiger muskie. Pretty good size, too, actually. But, you know, when you're recording sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to that didn't take long I think we got us a pickerel here I can't really tell oh isn't he cute he's a little fella guess he was a little hungry chain pickerel boy he didn't take long I barely moved it before he was on top of that All right, let's get this out here. Yeah, it is a clear day. It's early morning. And that's when these guys are really hopping. I'm just going to keep constant steady pace. Now the rattle traps always do pretty good. There's a perfect strike. I think we got us a bass this time. Well, maybe not. It might be a perch. Well, calm my own? Good God. Huh? What the heck is wrong with that spaz fish? I don't know if I got a bug here or a glitch or what. Because I don't think fish do that. Not like that, anyway. No? It's a little 
I think it's a small mouth, isn't it? Yep. A little spastic small mouth. I don't know what the deal is with that, but let's try over here. When I was caught that musky, I was actually fishing f over on this side. Always overthrow, but that's all right. It, you, it does not snag in this game. I'm not saying it's going to stay that way always, but at the moment, it doesn't snag. But it looks like we got some big fish underneath us here. Now, our neighbors are playing their music a little loud. I hope that isn't disturbing you guys. But for some reason, they believe that uh, we want to hear their music too. Okay, I'm going to let it sink. See, there's some big fish down there. I just they don't seem to be taken to this particular rattle trap, so I might switch. Let's see, what's a another good option here? Well, we could try this Magnum spoon. Caught quite a few northern pike off of this. It's a big lure, so you should go after big fish. I think I might take the speed down a little bit. Just keep a slow and steady pace here. Yeah, I just saw a big tail pop up out of the water. Ah, four strike. Yeah, I don't think that was him. I think we got us a little guy here. <laughs> Itty cute. A little perch. Can't believe he took down an eight inch. Holy crap. Lure. I don't see how that's even possible. Well. We'll try this again. Hey, we're catching fish. Doesn't matter how big they are. Catching fish is catching fish. There is a big fella out there. I know it. And that's not him. That is a smallmouth, I think. Yep, that's what it looks like. What is this hopping thing they're doing lately? <laughs> it's like they've made them really overly spastic. Come on. Well, they do give you a fight. I will say that for them. They're just acting nuts. <laughs> like, there we go. Yep, small mouth. Trophy too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch over though to my Turkalistic. That thing is just a killer with the pike. I know you guys can't get this as easily, but I'll tell you, it is an awesome lure if you can. Out of all the DLCs, the Hunter's Pack is definitely a major help. Because you do get the big fish with the, these lures, guys. All of them are good.
Oh, another poor strike. I hate when I get poor strikes. I've lost more fish with the poor strike. Especially if they get under the boat. I think we got us another bass here. Yep. Yeah, I don't want to lay it too much slack in there because he'll get off for sure. There we go. We got him. Not bad. He might be a trophy too. Yeah, he's a trophy. He's bigger than the last one. Alright, we'll go. Guys, where are the muskies at? We must find the muskies. Let her sink. There we go, that was a good strike. Okay, I have no idea what this is. But he's strong. Oh boy, guys. This might be what we're after. He is really taking this for a, a run here. He went around the island, for God's sake. <laughs> I am not budging him. Oh boy, guys, we have something here this time. We're going to need to crease our tension up a little bit. Okay, he's, he's given up some of his distance. No, this is not a bass. He keeps trying to go in those weeds, you notice that? He's also not acting all spastic. Just very slow and deliberate. Yep, there you go guys, check it out. That's a big fish. It may take us a while to get him in, but we are going to get him in, I swear. Looks like a torpedo. <laughs> Come on, big fella. Wear yourself out. Yeah, I just had to find him. Yeah, this is Dulacaba or Kachi's favorite fish to fish for. He likes them as much as I like catfish. And I can definitely see why he's attracted to fishing for them. They are definitely fighters. The musculange. And the pike. They're all in the same family. I'm not sure what the deal is with the tiger musculange. I don't know if it's a hybrid or its own species or what the deal is. But he is not giving up the ghost easily, is he? Jeez. There we go. We got him. Ho 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 ho! Wow. That is a fish, guys. Tiger Musculange. Personal best 31 pounds, 3 ounces. Whoa!
Yeah, I'm sure I'd have a big grin on my face like he does. Look at that fish, guys. Look at the size of his mouth. Oh yeah, we, we are getting a picture of him. Trophy catch. Trophy catch. Nice. <laughs> Jerkalistic, guys. It's worth every penny. I'm serious. 42 inches. 42.53 inches. If you want to get technical here. Alright, man. I am happy. I am a happy camper. This is the spot. I guess I just need to be a little more patient. But I caught him right over there. So, I'm not saying there's another one there, but I'm going to throw it out there again. But pretty much anywhere these reeds are. And like you saw, you pretty much can tell when you've got one. They definitely act completely different than the bass. The bass kind of really get worked up. These guys are just like cruisers, you know. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and move, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and get in. This is a great spot, guys. I'm sure it's just one of many, but it's the spot that I like to go to. I kind of get settled in the to places, and I just keep going back. But I've actually fished all along here, and all of these spots are very, very good. But we're going to get out to the open water here. Let's see if we can't do a little trolling. There are fish down there. Yeah, you know, trolling's a little tricky. It does take a get some getting used to. Okay, we are going to go ahead and turn the motor up. You can't cast behind you though. That's the only thing I will let you know for sure. You cannot cast behind you. But if you get out in the open, just kind of point it one direction, let it go, and let it do its thing. Okay, we're starting to head in here a little bit close. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the boat. not seeing a lot of fish down there especially no big ones well, this looks like it has a lot of fish but until I stop <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, we're getting a lot of small ones here. Alright. I think I might change my lure up here. Let's see what have I got on here, guys. This might not be a bad one to use. It is the uh, Tremor Shad. That's also a good one, the Big T Fried Eddy. We're going to start with this one. I think we're going to go... Let's see... Put a little heavier line on there because some of these fish are pretty darn big. I think I'm going to throw it out a little farther too. I don't know if that's going to help shouldn't but ah poor strike oh, I always hate when that happens 
going to take a troll off so we're not crashing into the bank somewhere. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we might have us a walleye. Yeah, that are a very large perch. Oh, I think it's a walleye, guys. I think it is a walleye. Now, let's see if we can get this in. Come on, big fella. Give me a hard time. There we go. We got him. Yes! Isn't he pretty? Isn't he pretty? And that's not even a large... I mean, that's really not a large one. I mean, that's just average size. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of him, too. Well, they definitely go for that trimmer shad, but let's try a little bit more trolling here, guys. Alright, guys, it seems like we have hit a dead zone or something, but I think it's probably about time. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and reel this in and call this an episode. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.